Well, blessed morning, friends, folks. It is July 19th, 2023. No further ado, let's dive right in. It's hard to believe that this month is already over. Time flies, time flies. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning. <laughs> when I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Today we have guilty fear, Proverbs 48 and 1. The wicked man flees, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Yes. <laughs> I graduated over there in House Springs, Missouri, and we were called the Northwest Lions. But there's nothing like the line of Judah. The line of Judah is Jesus. We have a quote from Benjamin Witchcoat. A guilty mind can be eased by nothing but repentance. Amen to that. When you repent, on past the eastern gate you shall be sent. For now your eyes are on the kingdom of heaven and not the demons of hell. In word, Saul was realist in his hatred for David. <laughs> That's a fact. David demonstrated on numerous occasions that he meant no harm to Saul, and he would wait patiently for God's plan. He would not touch God's anointed. <sighs> Whatever it might be, but Saul was disturbed by an ungodly jealous fear. He thought David's popularity was his greatest threat. He wanted to maintain his throne, whether it was God's will or not, and he would use any treacherous means to do it. Those who have an evil disposition toward others are often imprisoned by their paranoia. It hounds them relentlessly wherever they go. They make the mistake of thinking that others are manipulative and ill-willed as they are. And that assumption keeps them in constant fear of everyone. There is no rest for them, only flight. A guilty conscience has no peace. Those who are pure in heart, however, have nothing to fear. They assume the goodwill of others because they have it in themselves. They trust the power of God to protect and establish them because they have seen his power at work within their own hearts. They are not worried about the judgment of God because they know his righteousness and they are not worried about the judgments of men because they know God's love. A clear conscience is always at peace and it fills the power of the Almighty. The Almighty Gohog, Mahel, Daki, Daki, I, Akbaradia, Nataese, Oshe, God. Much of the anxiety we feel, oh indeed, the conclusion. Much of the anxiety we feel is a product of a restless guilt deep within. We don't trust God because we're convinced we have failed him. Our conscience will not let us rest, and we cannot trust anyone else either. We are jumpy and paranoid, ready to flee. We are sure our sins, however large or small, will find us out. What is the remedy? The cleansing that comes from the one we flee. He pursues us, but not for vengeance. It's for redemption. He wants to replace our guilty conscience with a heart at peace. Trust him. Let him make you bold before him. The righteousness is freely offered to you. Oh, you always hear me saying the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, which is in the word. And it's a fact. Look at the world. But the Lord comes to heal, redeem, and restore. And this is why we use our hands. You know, people think they use their hands for this. No, man. You use your hands to lay on people and to pray. They are healed, redeemed, and restored. And this is the excellence I learned from my pastor, Mona Bereshield. She is my mother-in-law, but she's also my pastor. And I get more of a strict teaching because she's going to pass that medal down to me. And at first, I, I can see it clear as day. No one's going to carry it on but us that have that fire of the Lord within us. Just like Elijah to Elisha. And, uh, man... <laughs> There's just so many great things right here. Not for vengeance. He pursues us, but not for vengeance. You know, when you know the Lord, you're not going to face judgment. Once you're, you're going to face him, you're going to lay the crowns at his feet, and he's going to say, job well done, good and faithful servant. But for those that rejected him time and time and time again and did not make him their Lord, their Savior, their King, their war chief against the thief and come to steal, kill, and destroy, all those they're they're gonna have to they're gonna go to hell and jesus didn't send them there they sent themselves there and jesus is not coming back to hell like he did when after he was on the cross he went to hell and had the greatest <laughs> the greatest revival ever and the people were redeemed and they went with him home to the kingdom of heaven it will not happen again that way in hell once in hell he trapped there forever and you know i would challenge you to look put hell in youtube and look it up See what you come up with. And if that don't scare the hell out of you, I don't know what will, honestly. 
I've been doing this so that I'm sharpened up once a week because I'm going to have a, a hellfire message coming. It's time for Jackie Hunter to get back behind that pulpit, and it will be starting. I'm going to ask Billy if he'll let me minister August 6th. It's going to be a good one, and then we're going to have our prayer walk at Carnegie August 6th. God will live to see that time. The double is about tomorrow if you don't know what today holds. Man, don't be paranoid. Just know that you can trust in God at all times, and he is always your refuge. Bless your iron journey.